think of Mexico City, I think of those guys. I think of the tacos de pastor. Oh, La Roja. La Roja está bien. Gracias. This here is the Palace of Fine Arts. It's a theater where they have a bunch of plays and big events. But it is also home to uh, several museums. Es una exposición que habla sobre el lado oscuro de la humanidad. Okay. Temas como desde el apego al dinero, el ego. What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm talking to you guys from the beautiful country of Mexico. And I actually arrived here a few days ago. I've been here for about a week now celebrating uh, my mom's birthday and my brothers as well. I brought them out here for their birthday and we've had the most amazing time. But now it is time to get back to the filming and get back to making these incredible videos for you guys. Now I feel so good being here. It feels so good to be on a completely different side of the world after spending the last five months in Asia. Now Mexico City is, oh I'm here with Gladys too, let me introduce you to Gladys. <laughs> now Mexico City is one of those cities that a lot of people have misconceptions about. A lot of people think that the there is no infrastructure here, that um, yeah there's absolutely nothing really to see here and that is just completely wrong this city has so much to offer and it's one of those places that i love coming to because it's only three hours from los angeles and it's a nice escape from the everyday life in the u.s here um the movement is quite active there's a lot going on and one of the things i love most about this place is that it reminds me a lot of thailand but of this region of the world here you find a lot of street food, a lot of um, shoe shiners like this. This is actually one of the things that makes Mexico City incredibly special. And we'll film a video with them later on this week. However, for now, I just want to show you guys my first impressions of Mexico City right now in 2022. Because things are looking a lot different than they did last year. Now, of course, I'm with Gladys. How Hello. are you feeling today being back in Mexico? Oh, I'm so happy being here and listening to that sound. <laughs> Those are the organ players here in Mexico City. Um, there are people that dress up in brown like uniforms and they play the organ like a music organ around the city. They're actually called organilleros here in uh, Mexico and they're pretty much like a symbol of the city. Everywhere you go you hear them playing and it is beautiful, beautiful to hear. It's beautiful and it's also beautiful. I love this city because there's so much food and it's delicious and a lot of desserts and sweets like mazapan, agua de horchata. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely try some of those. But here, let's give this guy a tip real quick. that sound now it is super important to tip those guys because I have a feeling that if one day the organilleros were gone Mexico City simply would not be the same yeah. they are it's truly the special it is the sound of Mexico City when I think of Mexico City I think of those guys I think of the tacos de pastor and the flavor tacos de pastor the flavor the tacos de pastor and of course all of the beautiful uh, green areas and parks now Let's actually stop right here, Gladys. Let's grab some of those snacks that you were talking about because I think that's a great way to kick off the Hola. video. Hola, buenas. Hay mazapanes? Los puedo dar. Los grandes? Yes. Cinco. Okay, nos das dos pequeños, porfa, y vamos a querer una de estas también. So I actually just ordered two mazapanes. Those are those ones up there, and these are actually very famous here as well. What are they called? Cachetada. Cachetada. Like giving a slap. <laughs> ¿Hay cambio? Sí. sí. Gracias. ¿Cuál quieres? Ah, um, y te sacaron la roja. Oh, la roja. La roja está bien. Perfect. Gracias. So we got the red one. So these are called cachetadas. Kind of like a slap. And it's basically a Mexican lollipop. Can you hold on to that for a second? Yes. Do you know how to eat this? I do, but because you're way better at folding it. That's the technique. Show us the technique, Gladys. No, I don't remember. You don't remember? To be honest. I do. Let me you show you. Do it. So, in order to actually eat these, oh. So, in order to actually eat these, you have to peel the plastic off, right? And then you do like one of these motions, guys. You go like that. Oh, this one doesn't want to stick to me. Let me put this in my pocket, actually. So you gotta stick it like that. Lift up the plastic. 
Oh, no se hace. ¿Cómo se hace esto, señor? Sí. ¿Así? Sí. I'm trying to ask for help right now. Pero I need no some backup. Pero no funciona. It doesn't work. I think this one's a messed up one, guys. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. It's supposed to go like that. Okay, there we go. So like that. And then you fold it into... We're going to do it again. Another way. And then watch this, guys. Then you fold it once sideways. Uh, just like that. These are fun, too. A lot of things in Mexico are just fun. It has a process. Yeah, it's nice. It makes you work. Bam. Just like that. We got our little Mexican lollipop. And now it's ready to eat. And then you just eat it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eso es saca muelas. 30, 40, 50. 50. 50, 100. Muchas gracias. Gracias. So yeah, this one is actually a little bit spicy here in Mexico. It doesn't matter what you get. Even if you go buy a bag of Doritos, they are spicy. So it's nice. Now, let me actually show you guys some of the money. Here, there's actually bills that are 20s, 50s, 100, 500, and 200s. But these are the 20s right now, and 20 is roughly one US dollar. And look how beautiful these new bills are. These are actually the new ones. They're really hard to find, and you don't see them too often. But as I was mentioning, this Olipop has like a little bit of like, yeah, some spicy sauce to it. It's nice, it's really good. But hold this, Gladys. <laughs> I'm having her hold yeah. my nasty lollipop. But these are the highlight of the show, guys. These are masa pan, and it's like a, a peanut candy. And this one here is called oh. De La Rosa. And check this, it has two, um, how do you call that? Two, two stamps. Two stamps. Oh, you know are what these, that these are means? the stamps that are all over Mexico, right? Yeah. So these, these are stamps. Here in Mexico, they actually put stamps on a lot of the food items. To, Look to say, like this one. Yeah, this one says excessive calories and excessive sodium. So here in Mexico, the government actually makes all of these big name brand companies mark their um their snacks and like sugary items with these labels so this one here has two of those black labels that we just noticed oh yeah this feels so much better in the shade all right now this here is the masa pan it's actually very very soft let's get a little closer and as you can tell there are peanuts inside of there and these are beautiful. Now they're not only just found here, these are pretty much found all around the world nowadays. So if you're curious to try one, find a local uh, shop near you that sells Mexican treats and get a masa pan. Mmm, delicious. You know, I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. You're sure, Gladys? Yes, please, give me a piece. It's very like chalky, peanuts. huh? Yeah, I'm made with peanuts. It's made with peanuts, peanuts. it's very chalky. In Spain, they eat masa pans, but they're made out of almonds. Really, out of so almonds? the taste, it's very different. Wow, mm -hmm. interesting. But very sweet too. Um, do you know what? I want something you have. What? One of those bills, because they're very, very weird to find. Okay, here you go. And That's these for you. guys, it's like one box. Right? One, one dollar. US dollar. Yeah. One US dollar. Of course. <laughs> Gladys and I love saving at least one bill everywhere we go in the world because money's unique. Are you gonna eat it? You eat it. Okay. Because I gotta stay focused and talk. Now, right now we're actually on one of the main avenidas across the street from me is Parque Central Alameda. And if we walk completely forward, oh, wow, she almost fell. Now, if we walk completely or in a straight line, we're actually gonna make it to the Zocalo, which is like the main square of the city and one of the most historical areas of the city. This is actually the historic city center. So everything that you're looking at right now is actually um, not the way the entire city looks. Here in Mexico City, the city has a lot of different contrasts. One minute you're in like a historical center like this one, and then a few a few blocks down, you can find yourself in an area like Avenida de Reforma or Polanco, which is very, very modern and home to some of, yeah, the biggest name brands 
in the world. Now, they do have a trolley here that gives you historical city tours. They got the, two, the, the double decker touring bus that you find in a lot of places. Of course, more organilleros. And on this street here in the historic center, you actually find a lot of street performers and street artists as well. So I'll show you guys a few of those as we make our way down towards the Zocalo. Towards the Zocalo, excuse me. Now, Mexico City, as I mentioned, is just so different. Here you find a lot of um, little stands that are like stores selling newspapers, the magazines that have just came out, snacks. The coffee culture is also extremely big here. I mean, look at this place. This place is called Churreria. Churros are extremely iconic here in the city and they can be found everywhere. I mean, look at how good these look. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have never tried a churro before because I pretty much have grown up eating churros, especially being from Southern California. We have them absolutely everywhere as well and I love them so much. Now, it's actually quite dead today. There's not that many street performers out this, right now, huh? Yeah, I, I think it's because today it's a Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's a so, Tuesday. But check, this, is, all, this is also interesting about this city. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, oh my God. We're, be, we're behind. Yeah, but look, this is so interesting. It has all the work chains. Yeah, they got the Starbucks right there, the Chili's, the Burger King. And of course, their very own chains, like OXO and La Casa de Toño. <laughs> yeah, OXO can be compared to like a 7-Eleven. And then Casa de Toño, you can actually compare that to like a, like a IHOP. Yes, kind of, but without but pancakes. But with, without pancakes and they got all the Mexican treats. Now there are other ones too, like Sanborns and Vips, where you're gonna find like your pancakes and things like that. And look, this is what I mean, guys. You can take a picture with a minion on this street. Usually there's so many other people dressed up in outfits as well. But today that's not the case. It's actually quite slow. Now. Here is actually the Barrio Chino, the Chinatown of Mexico City. It is actually very, very simple. It only lasts about two, three streets. And to be honest, there's not a whole lot going on. So I don't know if we're actually gonna film a video there this week, but maybe, maybe we'll take a walk down that street and find something interesting for you guys. But you know what? A funny fact about this Chinatown, it's that they celebrate hard the Chinese New Year. Really? Yeah, it's a huge celebration here in this city. Wow, I didn't know that. Maybe we should come for Chinese New Year one year. Yeah. However, I definitely want to go back to Bangkok. I want to go back to Bangkok yes. and visit Mealy and go to Chinatown there for New Year's because I heard Chinatown New Year is incredible there. Now there's actually music bumping right here. So let's cross over this way so I can show you one of the most famous buildings here in the city. Now this beautiful building that you see right in front of us is actually the Palacio del Bellas Artes or the Palace of Fine Arts. And here you're gonna find a theater. Actually, it's a theater where they host like a bunch of plays and big events, but, oh, perdón. Okay. <laughs> he got mad we're in the bike lane. We should probably get off the bike lane. But um, this here is the Palace of Fine Arts. It's a theater where they have a bunch of plays and big events, but it is also home to uh, several museums. Now museums are actually free on federal holidays and I believe the first Sunday of every month. However, don't quote me on that, do your own research, but I believe the first Sunday of every month the museums are free. Now something very interesting about Mexico City is that this city, Gladys loves this about the city, this city has over 170 museums. Yeah. How insane is that? So if you're a museum freak, if you love museums, you love learning about the history, love seeing art, this is definitely one of those cities you want to come to. Yeah, it's very nice. It has a lot of museums for children. For it's There's one here, right? Yeah, there's one there. I yeah. think that one is a museum of uh, art, an art yes. museum. Wow, and one thing you're gonna notice when you come to Mexico City all the time is that there are always protests happening. It doesn't matter, I've been here this is my fourth visit to the city, 
And every time I walk around this historic center, there's a protest. Actually, yesterday, we were walking through this area and I walked right in front of the um, National Palace and we got to actually see the Mexican president walk outside and the president of Germany. I actually put that clip right here so you guys can view it. It was pretty damn cool. And it was my first time experiencing something like that. But yeah, look right here, they're having a mini protest. A protest. Right it was a protest right, right in front. So I don't know what they're protesting here. So this says, help me translate this, Gladys. It says something like, the police robbed me. So I'm here for a fair, fair work or fair job without, como que sin que me rechacen. Without? Without being rejected. Oh, without being rejected. So it's pretty funny. They're here protesting against the police, and then the police are protecting them. <laughs> so yeah, not much different than the U.S. I guess in the U.S. they seem to protest about absolutely everything nowadays. It is 2022, so everybody just likes to hit the streets and yeah, protest about absolutely everything. It's that is very very. Oh, let me go check it out. This is like weird, huh? Like. Wow, what a cool little um, art exhibit. Hello, how are you? How are you? This is super cool. Do you do all this art? Wow, so he does all of this art. It's an exposition that talks about the dark side of humanity. Okay. The things like the money, the ego, the hypocrisy. How they use religion to do things that are dangerous. Wow. Racism. What is the racism? Okay, okay, okay. Wow, so this is an exhibit that actually resembles um, humanity. There's some here that, um, like this one right here, I guess it symbolizes hip hypocrisy. Then we got this one that symbolizes those who have a bad ego. This one here symbolizes um, dinero, so how money has um, an influence on people. How crazy is that, right? ¿Y qué es esta? Es habla de la depresión, como ponemos un rostro frente a la sociedad, pero wow. dentro, detrás de eso está el sufrimiento. ¿no? Wow. So this one here resembles this baby's face right here resembles um, depression. How we actually put on a face for the public, but inside we have all these other faces that are eating us up. And yeah, that's actually pretty deep, huh? That one is extraordinary. It's really cool. Yeah. Wow. ¿Y tú tienes un Instagram o algo así? Sí, es. ¿Cómo se llama? Arroba maldito loco bastardo. Maldito loco bastardo. bastardo. Loco bastardo. Oh, ok. So look, if you guys want to see more of his art, maldito loco bastardo. bastardo. Wow, muchas gracias. Thanks. Me encanta. Thank you. Super, super cool. So, yeah, a lot of people, um, a lot of very talented people here on the streets of Mexico City. You always find something new, um, a lot going on, and it's one of those places that you can't visit and be bored. Like there's, yeah, if you there's come to no Mexico way. City and you're bored, you you got some problems, man, because <laughs> this city is great and there's always something new to do. And during the weekends, this is full of another artist like him. Wow. All, all this area. And I've noticed that on the weekends, yeah. there are like ladies lining up all around these sides of the building um, selling street food. Gorditas de nata. Gorditas de nata. And on the other corner, right here by the mini so, there's actually a stand that comes around on the late evenings that sells the best churros in the city. Yeah, the best stuffed churros ever. Stuffed. They That's stuff them a with like. Churro. <laughs> yeah, they stuff them with condensed milk, caramel, yeah. chocolate, anything you want. It's super cool. The the down power is on weekends. You won't find the. A lot of street artists. Yeah. Now, this here in front of us is the Latino Tower. Now, this is actually like one of the tallest towers in the city, and you can actually go up to the top near the clock, or the clock. It's a, it's a clock tower. You can go up near the top and get 360 th 360 degree views of the entire city of Mexico. It's pretty dang cool. I've actually haven't gone up there, but it's only around like. Um, 12 US dollars to make it all the way to the top yeah. and it's definitely something we should do we should consider doing before yeah. we leave yeah, we missed the one in Vietnam 
and in Bangkok. <laughs> Guys, we were in Bangkok for like six weeks and we didn't go up to like the tallest observation deck. We missed the clear bridge. Yeah. And we're just gonna, tower. you know what? We didn't miss it. We were saving it for the next visit. Yeah, we gotta come back for sure. It's just another reason to come back. You can't see everything in one trip, nor, nor should you try to. You should definitely take your time, relax, and enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the vibe. So, right now we're actually crossing over into Avenida Madero, which is the largest walking street here in the city. And that's where you're gonna find a lot of your big name brand stores. You're gonna find your Old Navy, your H&M, your Sada. Um, and also it's the connection with the Socal. Yes, this is actually the street that connects you from Bellas Artes to the Zocalo, the historic plaza here in the city. And that's actually where you're gonna find the famous cathedral. You're gonna find the Royal Palace or the National Palace there. Yeah. It's very, very beautiful. But um, I'll show you guys that. In a, in a later video. I think that for now, um, let's cross over so I can just show you guys a little a little tease of Avenida Madero. But for now, I think the first impressions of this video are gonna be coming to an end. Now, um, one thing you're also gonna notice here in Mexico City, I forgot to point this out, and you simply can't come here without noticing it, is the taxis. Here in the city, it's kind of like New York with the yellow taxis. However, here, you find so many taxis, but they're pink and white. Actually, like this one right here, look. How cool is that? So all the taxis here in Mexico City are pink and white. And there's also um, cyclo taxis. They're very popular here in this area of the city. They're very popular and let me just tell you guys something. Mexico City has some of the best public transportation that I've ever seen anywhere in the world. Here the buses work amazing. The metro works incredible. There's just so much to do, so much to see. So please, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see from Mexico City. What uh, videos would you like to see me create? Because I can't wait to really just start diving on into um, the nooks and crannies of this place and filming some incredible videos for you guys. We and we gotta mention that the public transportation has pink areas. Yes, they do. They have pink areas in the very front of the trains and the buses for women. Super cool. So this is what the Avenida Madero looks like. You got a TAF, which is like a shoe store. That one is La Casa de los Azulejos. Los Casas de los Azulejos. Yeah, it's a very beautiful and old building. Wow, it is very, very beautiful. So you can tell there's a lot of um, history here in the city. A lot of very historical buildings. I mean, look at these churches that you just find in beneath or in between the avenues. How beautiful is this, right guys? You almost feel like you're somewhere in in like Spain walking around. Yeah, it's because um, uh, los españoles hicieron esto. Yeah, the Spanish actually built this when they came in to Mexico in the 15 1600s. As you guys know, the whole world was pretty much colonized by um, Spain and by Britain. And wow, they have a Leonardo da Vinci exposition here. We should definitely come and go into that exposition. That sounds awesome. Mexico City, it's a um, city with a lot of culture. A lot of culture. Yeah. It's amazing because you can always find expositions, art, and especially in this area, street art a lot. Yeah, a lot of street art can be found here now. Um, on this avenue, it's kind of like a lot of those main walking streets that you find anywhere in the world. Here, you're going to be offered like uh, people are going to come up to you trying to offer you tattoos, trying to offer you um, tours into their glasses shop, into their jewelry shop. Because here in Mexico City, the city is actually divided by areas. And you'll find areas that are only jewelry. You'll find other areas that are only electrical areas. You'll find other places that are... Um, beauty. Beauty, <laughs> which is actually where we're heading right now for another special video that I have planned for you guys. A lot going on. A lot going on. So, um, yeah. This is a very touristic area, as all the touristic areas in the world. You gotta be careful with your purses, with your backpacks. With all your belongings. Yeah, with all your belongings, because there's a lot of people in, in this street, especially in this street. And look, there's look at this guy. This is also very popular. They'll walk around with like these to-go boxes inside of this big plastic container, and they actually sell full meals. Like full-on meals, which you would find at a restaurant here on the street so for now guys I think I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna enjoy my time here in Mexico City and we'll start 
with the incredible Mexico video series starting with this video our first day in Mexico City so um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for the support and I'll see you guys very very soon for another incredible adventure oh say bye Gladys bye bye they're gonna have to wait to see the rest of the beauty that lies behind this street <laughs> later guys you were always smarter.